Welcome back to B Varsity Live, Zach Ewing and Trevor Horn, who's air eating over there. No, every time we talk about <laughs> Stavros Katsantonis, and then I just brought up his mom, I think about Goose Looney's. Oh, amazing. And I get hungry. Amazing. Yeah, it yeah. is amazing. I just thought you were like, you, you said you wanted to lose some weight. I thought that was one way you're just going to pretend to eat instead of actually put food in your mouth. I didn't dude, know that. dude, don't do this. I'm going to get you a milkshake for tomorrow, by the way. That's, uh, that'll be counterproductive. Uh, look in the camera and say you're welcome, Kristen. I'm sorry, Kristen. I, tru- I truly am. I truly am. But I had set the rules before I knew it, so I can't. Uh, we, we had a contest last night to how many points Kobe would score. This is ridiculous. We, we were all, this is ridiculous. We were all so far off. I, and I said I'd give a milkshake to the winner, right? Yeah. Trevor guessed 26. I actually that guessed was a 20, high number. I actually guessed 27, but I, I, I couldn't be in my own contest, right? And that was the highest, so he wins. And I, I was thinking he's going to go for 30, right? I mean, yeah. I, so I'm anyway. 60. I came out of nowhere. Yeah. No, not I, I wouldn't have guessed 60, but uh, Brandon Jones is here. He's a uh, former Bakersfield Christian mm-hmm. quarterback, former Ventura College quarterback, and future San Diego State quarterback. Yep. You're kind of in between here, but but only for another month or so. You head down to San Diego, what did you say, May 23rd? Yeah, heading down May 23rd and starting summer school there, and then she didn't after it, started lifting with the guys, throwing, and um, just trying to get into the routine of the Division One level and excited to get down there. All right. I, if, for those who don't remember, and if you if you don't, where have you been? But Brandon uh, coached or coached you quarterbacked. <laughs> sometimes maybe felt like you were coaching, but you quarterbacked <laughs> Bakersfield Christian your junior year to the state championship game for yeah. Division Four, mm-hmm. and then uh, your senior year another good year. I think you guys made the section semis, but you yeah. did, you won a valley your your junior season. And uh, I correct me if I'm wrong. Fielded some D one or four year offers, and then decided to go the junior college route to see if you could sort of develop as a prospect? I had nothing at high school. You didn't. You had nothing. nothing, okay. No, I had talked to a couple schools, had walk-on stuff, and uh, I had a Division two offer, but that was it. At and high we school. knew they were all wrong at the time, and they were <laughs> wrong. Yeah, no, so. What was well, that, a school in, Lib- in Illinois? That was an NAIA school, but I had Azusa was my only Division okay. two offer that okay. I had. And, and you had the grades to go to a four-year school at yeah. the time, but you decided to go JUCO because you wanted to further your football career, right? Yes, I wanted to play Division One. So football. you went, you went down to Ventura. Uh, what was that experience like for a couple of years? You got hurt at one point. One almost year. got yeah. Wally pipped by yeah. your backup. I mean, those sort of things happen. But yeah. but uh, what what were those years like? It was one cool. Year. Yeah, one year. Oh, just one year. Yeah. Yes, it was awesome. Uh, going down there and learning. I mean, I came in pretty fresh. Didn't really know that much. And uh, Coach A down there really helped me out. And Coach Moose, who's an NFL receiver coach, and he knows everything about the game. So he taught me a lot and. Going down there and learning the speed of it, getting faster. It's a lot faster than high school. And um, I thought it, it did me well, did me accommodated to get ready for the next level. And Brandon, your injury – go ahead, Trevor. Well, I soapbox for junior college mm-hmm. and for athletes so much, and I've been doing this yeah. for years and years and years, and you and I have talked about it. For those that don't know, Brandon and I actually go through physical therapy at, right around the same time. So we, you know, we've had some conversations about this. For you, here you are, a high-end high school athlete mm-hmm. – Felt like you were underappreciated, underappreciated at high school. You had the grades. You could have gone off to a four-year college, but you wanted to do something. You wanted to better yourself. Can you talk to us about what it was like to go the junior college route, even though you knew that you know you could have done so many other things, but you wanted to go the junior college route, and how much that's actually helped you to get to this point to be a Division One quarterback mm-hmm. like you are now? Yeah, um, it's it's tough at first. I mean, turning down money from a school wants to to pay for you to go there, but. I knew in my heart that I've always set out to play Division One football, and I wanted to be the best at it. And so I knew I had to, to get to that level if I wanted to do that. So um, junior college is tough. I mean, it's not easy. But um, for someone in my situation, it's the best thing that can happen because you get that exposure. You get that, that year to almost accommodate yourself to the speed of the game. The knowledge of the game is a lot different from high school. Um, it's closer to Division One than high school, obviously. And I, I, like I said, it just gets you – an extra year to prepare yourself before you're actually there and actually in the heat of the moment. So, How long was it before you started getting D1 looks down there? It seems like it happened pretty quickly. Yeah, it happened really fast. Uh, probably around the second game, wow. we played El Camino, and we had a comeback in the fourth quarter. And um, I did pretty well that game. And after that, I started hearing stuff from, from schools. A lot, a lot of schools that I heard from in high school that wanted to see me in junior college. Okay. And, and he says him. pretty well when he goes for like 385 yards and five touchdowns. Yeah, set a couple of school records, I think, <laughs> in the process. And then you got hurt. What, yeah. was, what was the injury? Uh, sprained my LCO. Okay. My knee. So I did some Mount Sack. And so then you, you basically, your backup came in. He played really well. Yeah, he did. And then he did really well. you sort of, like I said, got Wally pipped, and all of a sudden you found yourself not playing as much. Oh, yeah. A- after the injury, uh, the team was still winning. Mm-hmm. But um, 
how frustrating was that for you? I, I, I have to imagine you're just going crazy on the sideline, that inside anyway. Yeah, I mean, I've never really had to deal with anything like that. Uh-huh. Um, this is probably one of the toughest things I've had to go through in my life, but I'm glad for it. I had to work to get back, to get healthy, and then to get back in the rotation, to get reps. And I mean, I think it only helped me for the future to, to go through that. In that moment, it sucked. It was horrible, but I'm glad I went through it to learn it. San Diego State, one of the first schools on board. They come in late. How did that develop? That came, so I talked to them in high school, obviously, and then um, around November, December, they, uh, their quarterback coach came into Ventura, and they were recruiting one of our tackles and just happened to run into him and started talking. And then um, they wanted to take me in the spring. Um, didn't work out, and then now I'm going down in, in May. And I heard from them probably, I want to say March. Everything was dead. I had heard from nothing. I had wow. nothing until March, and they called me up and had a couple situations down there, and they needed someone to come in. and. Said I'm there. <laughs> I'm coming down. Where's the pen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, right. <laughs> right there. Well, and ready. and the great situation too is that you now have a chance over the next four and a half months mm. to see if you can solidify yourself as you know a chance to start. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. They want me to come in and they want someone to compete. And, it's wide open. Yeah. Yeah. And I know. And Coach Lawn wants to win games, and so hopefully, I mean, that's the plan to go down there and do that. Yep. And they've had a good program. Rocky, Long, I grew up watching Rocky Long teams in Albuquerque, by the way, mm-hmm. at least towards the end of my time there, uh, and. They've got a good program. You're playing in San Diego. You're playing in the Mountain West, so, which means you, you, you get to come up to Fresno closer oh, to home yeah. a little bit. I mean, uh, UNLV, all, all these it, – it's just a good situation. I mean, it just seems like everything sort of worked out the way maybe yeah. it was meant to be. Honestly, yeah, it did. And, I mean, I did to play against a couple of buddies almost every week, it seems like, yeah, on a different I mean, Mountain got, West team. Yeah, you Nevada, got yeah, I mean, sure. You Asani won't go up against them, mm-hmm. but your old high school teammate, Matt nah. Smith, is at Air Force. You think yeah, about – that one. You think about if you <laughs> – you know – Given the opportunity to go against Nevada, mm. you throw against Asani, who yeah. you two both shared a very big stage three years ago. Mm. Um, you think about uh, Colorado Braylon State. Scott at Colorado State playing corner. I mean, it's about every school in the Mountain West except yeah. for Fresno these days or I mean, San Jose State. Yeah, yeah. Which, which I mean, is it's funny, a, but I mean, it's a really unique situation that here you guys are, and you, you know, we talk about you know how big football here is in this town. And, you know, you were just talking about how you missed our show. Uh, last April, yeah. when you had, um, I won't say the name that you guys came up with yourselves. No, you can say it. It's okay. uh, you can say it. Uh, we'll let you say it, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Well, the sexy six. Yeah, that whatever. <laughs> so it was Matt Smith was there. I mean, yeah. uh, you. Mm. Uh, you look at Stavros, who is now at University of British Columbia, and was a standout for them at safety this year. Ballin, yep, that dude's a monster. Um, Isaiah Sharp, who, ball hawk, yeah, yeah. Yes. Isaiah Talking Sharp, Stavros, who will likely be the starting running back mm-hmm. for BC this year. Uh, RJ, all, uh, R- RJ, yeah. RJ, who is a tight end, a big tight end at for Yale. Yale. Yale, and Sheldon, right? And Sheldon, Sheldon Crony, who State. you know is at Iowa State. I mean, that's. That's a pretty legitimate six-pack of football players that we've had. So it's been a lot of fun to watch you guys kind of grow and prosper. So congratulations, man. Well, absolutely. Thank you, guys, for sure. What do you, what do you think of when you think back uh, to your high school years, the state championship run, everything, and then maybe a senior year where you, where you didn't accomplish what you wanted to, you came in with higher expectations. Uh, when, when you're, now you have a year to kind of look back on it, uh, what's your perspe- how has your perspective changed there? Um, I th- what that really taught me was, especially going through our senior year, just enjoy the moment. I uh-huh. mean, I really didn't do that my junior year. I kind of took it for granted going into a team like that and went in a whole bunch of games and run state and kind of became the norm. Thought so, didn't really appreciate it. But now, like seeing that, you really appreciate every win and and really grind for every win you can get. Now that's how I, that's my mindset. It's changed a lot since my junior year. And just overall, my game has changed since um, high school. How has your game changed? Just a lot smarter. Yeah. Um, I didn't know as much as I do now, for sure. And being able to go the line and see the defense, change protections, um, change a play if I have to. and Hot routes, all that sort yeah. of thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. And I mean, just growing in that. And that's what it takes to, to succeed at the next level. And really, I got that from, from Derek. I've seen him, watching him go through it all. And he's told me, and we talked probably like once a week, and he tells me just, you know, get ready for the next level. You got to do this, this, and that. And he's like, I played against all these teams. I'll tell you exactly what they run. So I just cool having that too. Yeah, pretty good little personal coach <laughs> a that little talk bit, to yeah. once a week. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, we're not – you see him in town much? Is he over there at the facility? Uh, Yeah, sometimes. He comes in town. Not that much, but he's here. Yeah. And I see him when he comes. He's so. a busy man these days, you know, yeah, yeah. pro well, ball Not really, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's Mr. not traveling. He's not traveling overseas to do humanity work either. So it's yeah. yeah Derek Carr is a pretty, pretty legitimate young man. Oh yeah, absolutely. And and as is Brandon Jones. And yeah. Brandon, again, congratulations on San Diego State. Happy Thank it you. worked out for you. And 
and uh, good luck competing for starting job or whatever else might. Now, three years to play three down there, four to play three. Four years yeah. to play three yeah. seasons at San Diego State. So if yeah. that, that means you have the fallback of a red shirt and maybe yeah. still get another chance the following year if that's the way it works out. But uh, anyway, wish you luck, and, and I'm sure we'll be seeing you. Yep, because yep. every good. time I want to go to SeaWorld, I'll, uh, I'll come find you. Give me a call, and yes. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much All for right. having me. Hey, no problem, Brandon. That's Brandon Jones, uh, formerly of Bakersfield Christian, now San Diego State. And uh, we'll be back. Stockdale Golf is in the house next on Varsity Live. <laughs>